One of the things about most websites is that everything on the page is a box, some sort of a square or a rectangular box, straight edges on all four sides. It can be kind of monotonous. It's not something that we normally see in real life or even in something like magazine design. There are triangles or circles. There's boxes that are trapezoids or otherwise sort of not quite square. We have a property now in CSS that will allow us to do that. You can use clip path to take something that would maybe be a box and kind of turn it into a different shape. Blue Note is a really famous record label that had amazing graphic design on all their albums for many, many years. And it makes sense in these designs for something like jazz to have different kinds of shapes, to have things not be so square, to have things kind of jutting around and looking like musical notes. You can see this image here on this web page where it's perfectly square and perfectly centered. Back in the era where album covers like those album covers were made, things weren't so perfect. If you wanted to make a perfect square, you'd get out an X-Acto knife and you'd get a ruler and you'd try really, really hard to cut it clean and try really, really hard to cut it perpendicular to the first cut. But it was never going to be perfect. These things were handmade. Today, everything's being generated by computers and our screens are, gener are, are rendering things with these tiny, tiny pixels and everything is so, so, so machine perfect. It almost sucks the life out of work like this. If I instead just chop the edges of this image and make it just a little bit off square and then I scoot it over and make it not quite so centered, the same image has quite a different feeling. You can see here the two compared one to the other. Something like this can really give a photo like this some life and get it to be not so robotic. I accomplished that by applying a very simple property, clip path, polygon, and then those four numbers are the four corners of the polygon. There's all sorts of basic shapes that you can apply using clip path. You can look that up on something like MDN. You can cut things into circles or into triangles. You can easily, you can use other CSS properties like masking or radiance to kind of other, there's other techniques to, to change the shape of the images if you just have a vision for what it is that you might want to do. Let's look here at a real world example. Here I've got uh, a website that I built a couple of years ago for a client and I took all the photographs of the artists and I cut them using a you know random pattern so that all the different images would have some sort of a non-rectangular shape. You still can see what's important. It's not like anything important is getting cut off, but it makes it really clear that these are in fact pictures of the artists at this record label. And Making that decision made them stand out versus the albums for this particular record label. It's really clear when you go to something like the homepage now, what is an image of a person and what's an image of a record album. Um, and it makes the two kind of, you know, like, oh, here are all the albums. Oh, here are all of the people. Uh, a slight, really slight graphic design choice, but it was made very intentionally in order to make the content stand out better. So consider clip path, consider not making everything be a perfect rectangle. How might your content be better portrayed, better displayed by using some sort of a technique to cut the edges, make it a little bit different, make it a triangle, make it a circle.